Welcome to the Hagia Sophia. This mosque is one of the best known mosques in the world and is arguably Istanbul's most famous. The mosque is over 1,400 years old and its name translates to Church of the Divine Wisdom. Believe it or not, the Hagia Sophia wasn't always a mosque. It was actually built as an Orthodox basilica. It was founded on December 26, 537 AD by Emperor Justinian I of Constantinople. It served as the Cathedral of Constantinople for more than nine centuries. In 1453, however, the Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque after the Turkish siege of Constantinople. The minarets, mirabs, minbar, tombs, and ritual fountains were all added during this period. The mosque is rich with history inside and out. On the outside, there is a baptistry, part of the 6th century church. Now it is used as a tomb for two deceased sultans. Let's go inside. The century of the mosque contained the coronation square, where emperors were brought into power. There are many Byzantine mosaics on the walls, depicting Christ and other religious scenes. Examples of Christian religious imagery can be found in the mosaics by the apse and by the southwestern entrance. The apse mosaic shows a virgin and child, and the southwestern entrance mosaic shows the virgin and child flanked by Justinian I and Constantine I. The, no the dome over the nave, a classic example of Byzantine architecture, is 184 feet tall. Though there are many vestiges of Christian Byzantine art, much of the Hagia Sophia is dominated by art with an Islamic influence. The huge calligraphic roundels hanging on the wall play an important role in asserting this religious influence. The Hagia Sophia was converted into a museum in 1935. Religious services are no longer conducted within its walls. This conversion was executed by Ataturk, who declared that the use of the mosque for worshipping purposes was strictly prohibited. The conversion of the mosque into a museum is another symbolic act of secularism by the Turkish government.